All right, welcome back. So today we're gonna make some granola bars. We're gonna make a white chocolate macadamia nut with cranberry one, and then we're gonna make a pecan with mango and coconut, kind of like a tropical one. This is a perfect recipe for if you need something on the go, uh, especially if you have a kid or whatnot, uh, you always have a snack ready to go at a moment's notice. I mean, if you have a kid, you know what I mean. Um, so here's a little joke for you. So my wife the other day told me to get some granola from the store that was grain free. I said, that's nuts. Oh, all right, all right. All right, without further ado, let's get cooking. So to start, what we're gonna do is we are going to take two and a half cups of oats and dump that onto a cookie tray with three fourths cup of nuts. In this case, we're gonna use macadamia nuts. So we're gonna go ahead and start with a white chocolate, cranberry and macadamia nut granola bar. So then we're just gonna take this and we're gonna throw it in the oven at 350 degrees for about eight, 10 minutes or until lightly toasted. You do not have to do this, but it's highly recommended if you want the best tasting granola bars. Then for the tropical flavored granola bar, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing as before. Two and a half cups of oats with three fourths a cup of pecans in this case. And then we're just gonna throw these on the tray and bake them in the oven just like previously at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes or until lightly toasted. So then in a small saucepan, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one fourth a cup of butter, one third a cup of brown sugar, one fourth a cup of honey. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this from the heat, add a teaspoon of vanilla extract and one fourth a teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna stir that in and to combine it. Then with my little helper here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the mixture for the tropical granola bars. So we're gonna add one fourth a cup of butter, one fourth a cup of honey, and one third a cup of corn syrup. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then once that's brought up to a boil, we're gonna remove it from the heat and add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one fourth teaspoon of salt, uh, mix to combine, and then we're gonna set this to the side. And then with our leftover Easter candy here, uh, we have a white chocolate bunny. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop this guy up so we can add it to our granola bars. We have a rabbit, I want to eat that piece. I need a piece. Oh, oh no. Then we're gonna take our toasted oat mixture. We're gonna add about a cup of cranberries. Just kind of mix it in. Then we're gonna take our brown sugar mixture from earlier, and then we're just gonna dump that in. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> Then we're gonna to toss everything around until it's co everything is coated with that sugar mixture. <laughs> I miss you, buddy. It's your turn. Then once you get everything nice and coated and it's cooled down a little bit, it's not hot. Because if you do have this mixture hot, it will melt your chocolate. But since this is not hot, we're just gonna go ahead and add our white chocolate with what hasn't been confiscated by our little helper here. And then we're just gonna to toss it once more. Mm -hmm. All right, the nut. Yeah, eat it. You can eat it. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mixture and we're gonna dump it into an eight by eight pan. And then we're just gonna spread this out so that everything is pretty much even. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna push this all down. This will help compact it together. And this is what's really gonna help it hold together. Once you have everything matted down nicely like this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to the side and let it cool for about two hours. Then for our tropical granola bars, what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop up about a half a cup of avocados. Where are you going? I'm going to play. Then just like before, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our toasted oat mixture and we're gonna add our half a cup of chopped apricots. And then we're gonna add half a cup of coconut flakes. And then we're just gonna kind of toss that around a little bit. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our butter and corn syrup mixture and we're gonna dump this over that. And then we're just gonna toss this around, make sure everything gets coated just like last time. Now that we got everything coated, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nine by 13 in this case, just because I only have one eight by eight. So we're just gonna kind of cover it about halfway or whatever. And just like last time, we're gonna push everything down just because this will help it adhere when it cools down. And just like the last one, we're gonna let this cool for about two hours. Hey, no, no. Hi, hi. I have to go for the video. And hi, hi. And welcome back. Today we dial oatmeal. Goodbye. Bye, bye. <laughs> All right, so there we have our granola bars. We have our tropical one, and then we have our macadamia white chocolate one. So, would you like to try the white chocolate macadamia one first? Let's try it. Mm. I think those are really good. They're sweet, they're nutty, nice little pick-me-up, a good mix of sweet and salty. 
I agree. Uh, the macadamia nuts and the cranberries um, and the white chocolate just really pair well together. Would you like to try the uh, tropical mama. one? One thing I did notice is that tropical one did not hold as well, hold together as well. Uh, Maybe. Just because we used a brown, we used a corn syrup instead of the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. um, so I would recommend you Please. just use brown sugar. Oh my beard. So here's this. Oh one. My Thank beard. you. Woo. Oh my beard, mom. Oh my beard, dad. What did you say? How my beard. That one's so good. Don't like it as much as the other one because it's not as much sweet aspect. It's a little, um, what do I say? Maybe just a little overly salty. Unless you really like salty, then it's great. But the peanuts really come through on that one. Or not the peanuts, the, the nuts come through a lot more on that one than the fruit does. That's you, baby. I agree. Uh, the, the, it is heavy on the pecans. Um, it is a little bit saltier than the other one for whatever reason. Um, but, I mean, Bam. overall, it's not that great. Uh, I do like the other one better. Um, it could be because of the corn syrup. Who knows? Um, but the other one is by far way better. Uh, overall, I would make these again. I'd probably try different flavors just because yeah. it's kind of fun to try different little flavors. Uh, but, yeah, you can make these with all kinds of flavors. You can add uh, dark chocolate, uh, regular milk chocolate. Uh, you can basically make like chocolate cherry ones. You can do whatever you want. Uh, if you want to see us try different other uh, granola bars, please let us know in the comments down below if you have an idea of one you'd like to see us try. Um, with that being said though, hit the like button if you like this video. Uh, if you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified every time we make a new video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.